seems to be locked up tight, Lieutenant. Try the back. Yeah, yeah. No one seems to be answering, but the two cars are still in the garage. This place looks like hell. Nobody cut the trees, grass growing all over Try the place. The right this way, Lieutenant. I'm telling you something happened to him. It was that old woman. Well, I'd take it easy if I were you. Look, uh, why don't you see if your key still fits the lock? Huh? I was with the Clintons for 20 years. And then she shows up, worms her way into the family and gets me fired. Hello? Anybody home? Police officers here. I knew it when she first came into the house. She wasn't any kind of cook like she claimed. There was something wicked about her. How old would you say she is? Could be a hundred. Always smiling at you real sly. Smoking like a thing. Take my advice and check with the bank, Lieutenant. I already have. That's why I'm here. All the accounts were cleaned out right after the first of the month, down to the last dollar. Nothing down there, no fresh cement. All right. I'm going to get a court order to dig up the cellar and all around the outside of the property. I knew when they came into all that lottery money was bad luck. I wasn't good enough help for them anymore. Poor Miss Kate. Oh, pretty kids. Cute family. You've got to stop this woman, Lieutenant, or she'll do the same thing again to somebody else. She probably already has. Everything you've told us about her, Mandy, matches the M.O. of a woman that's being hunted in five states, from Massachusetts to Colorado, and now here in L.A. She's clever, she's ruthless, and she is very professional. I think you're lucky to be alive, Mandy. Hmm. And don't I know it. Come on, I'll have one of the officers take you home. I hate to leave. I keep thinking that maybe I was wrong. What was that? Sounds far away. What the hell was that? Is there a radio on someplace? In the heck could that be? It's all right. It's going to be all right. Well, maybe not.
All right, number one, state your name. It's for me to know and you to find out, Buster. Number two, face front. What's the matter, sweetie? Don't you like my profile? Maybe this will make me look better. Okay, Ma, put them back in. Well, do any of these look like her? All right, get them out of here. Okay, let's bring these ladies back to where they came from. I've got no place to go. Don't nobody want to adopt me? Get your hands off of me, flat foot. Oh. We like it. I'm not going to any place. We got no place to sleep. Can we eat now? Oh. 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 What do you have to do to get arrested in this town? Got 150 you pays. We gotta see after lunch, so let's just move it out, please. Let's go, let's go. Hey, Sorry, folks. I, I didn't notice you, folks, really. Why don't you look where you're going? Will someone please bring these folks their shoebox, please? Listen, there's a, there's a mob of reporters out there. What am I gonna say to them? You don't say anything to them. I want a lid put on this case. Excuse us, eh? Okay. I mean, the last thing we need is for. Someone to be screaming about voodoo and witchcraft. Yeah, but when when we when we find her, what do we charge her with? Uh, grand theft and shrinkage? Gives me the chills just to think about it. And she's out there right now doing it all over again. Or maybe even something worse. Thanks. Got your shoebox. Oh, it's about time. Be careful. Don't squash us. Sorry. Hey, watch it, buddy. She's got a little consideration. We could have taken a later flight and had the whole day on the beach. I don't know. I'm worried about Dad. It's the first time he's been left alone since Mom died. Why can't your father stay home and look after one little dog? I didn't say he couldn't. I just have a bad feeling. I'm just glad we're home. You go on ahead. I'll get the luggage. No, no, Steve, please. I want you to come with me. You're really serious about this. Of course I am. Boy, she got a problem. Hey, you stay out of it, all right? Oh, my pineapple just fell. I've lost my pineapple. Hey, don't bother to help carry anything, huh? Don't drop anything, pal. That's for you. I guess this is my tip. To be part of a family again. She's flicking ashes. Uh, perhaps uh, Dad didn't mention it, but we don't smoke in our house. Good for you. It's a nasty habit. Well, <clears throat> no, what I mean to say is, uh, you are polluting our air. Well, I'll try never to exhale. 
Sam, my love, aren't you going to introduce me properly to your two kids? This is Jenny and Steve. My wife, Miranda. Isn't she great? <laughs> I guess that just about covers it. <laughs> Sam, you're missing your game show. My God, that's right, I am. You never looked at game shows before. You wouldn't miss one now. Believe it, you never used to look at daytime oh, TV. During me, I had nothing to worry about. You were wonderful kids. If you want to give us a wedding present, how about some ashtrays? <coughs> how could this have happened? How could he have gotten married without even telling us? Oh, I begged him to wait. But you know how impetuous he is. He has to have his own way. Aren't those my earrings? Yes, I wore them on our wedding day. Do you remember that old saying? Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. You went through my things. She went through my room. Well, that makes me feel so much better. I didn't know if I was going to be accepted or not. I, I don't know what to say. What's this? My herbs. I was keeping myself busy by putting everything in order. But I had everything in order. Well, I think you'll prefer my system. I hope you're not angry. Huh. Wait till you taste my dinner tonight. I am not the kind of woman that has to be waited on hand and foot. We never eat meat. We've been vegetarians for years now. Maybe they had a sale. Danny, you two are such opposites. I am amazed you have been together all these years. Now, what is that supposed to mean? We'll talk about this later. Fine, uh, I'll get the luggage. Steve, please don't. I so want to put my best foot forward with you. No, oh, I'll bet you do. I realize how close you are with your father since your mother died. I assure you, I will never try to take her place. Good. I admit I was a lonely old woman looking for companionship. Your father and I hit it off in every sort of way, if you get my meaning. You mean sex? Kids can never imagine their parents having sex at their age. Well, let me assure you, Ours is a marriage in every sense of the word. Please don't say that. Jenny, would you come here a minute, please? What, what's the matter? Just come here a minute, please. Don't rearrange anything else. I promise I won't touch anything again unless you ask me to. Good. Uh, uh, famous detective. Things in a de uh, detective novel. Things uh, in a murder mystery. Uh -huh. She moved all Mike's stuff out. The nerve. Who's in Mike's room? I don't know. Who put a lock on this door? I don't know. That's a new lock. Well. Dad? Dad? I meant to tell you, Mike is down in the storage room off the kitchen. That's my wife's room now. You mean to say she won't even sleep in the same room with you and after she told me about the great sex life you have? I'm sorry, Dad. That's all right. It's true, though. We do have great sex. That bitch! 
Now, now, your mother was no picnic, as I recall. You couldn't get along with her either. Are you comparing that creature to my mother? You fought like cats and dogs. You didn't even speak to each other for a whole year. I won't listen to this. Look, I don't think we have much choice here. Your father has married this woman, and now we're stuck with her, and that's all. But she's walking all over him. Well, maybe that's the kind of woman he likes. As I remember, your mother made all the decisions in the family. But she smokes and eats meat. Yes, most people do. And so did we once, remember? Then we saw the light. Now, maybe in a couple of years, we'll bring Miranda around. Years? You've accepted this, that Miranda is going to be around for years? Well, why don't we poison her? I've already thought of that. Oh, Mom, if I only knew, I would have been so much nicer to you when you were alive. You were so good. All right, and where will it stop? We go Could you turn the volume down, Dad? It's awfully loud. I won't be able to hear the questions. And find out what we have. Thank you very much, Vanilla. Okay, this is from Fairy Tale. Could we talk? About the boys' room again? No. Look, Dad, I just don't understand it. How could you have brought that woman into our house? Don't you like her? Like her? How did you get mixed up with her anyway? I was taking the dog out for a walk near the shopping mall. I ran into her. A stranger? I was married to your mother for 41 years, and she was still a stranger. Anyway, we got the license, waited a week, and went to City Hall. I was surprised that anybody would marry a, a bald person like me. What are you talking about? Most men your age have lost their hair. Why? At age 60, I still had a full head of hair, and I was confident I would never be bald. And then just two years later, there was nothing on top, really nothing. But now look, I think my hair is growing back. Well, you know, there is some fuzz. It's starting in. I actually can feel my hair growing. It's a very enriching experience. And I attribute it to Miranda. What does she have to do with your hair growing? She claims she's making me happy. Maybe I wasn't happy before, and that's why I was getting so damn old. Look at that reception. Did we ever have such a clear picture before? Miranda moved in, and our picture improved, and so I'm happy. Who was he, and what was Sam? John I guess that means me. You're not going to really eat that, are you? I don't know what it is about a cooking, but I can't wait for the next meal. It smells awfully good. Well, if you want some, why don't you just go out there? No, I don't eat anything with the face. Besides, it's probably full of hormones. I thought you always loved my broccoli souffle. Well, you know how it is with outdoor cooking. Everything always smells great. You're going to want seconds. Must be pretty tasty, huh? Great. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Sam, darling. I love compliments. I just wanted to say congratulations. And to you too, Miranda. And I apologize for Jenny. No need. I realize I am an acquired taste. May I have some seconds, please? Thank you. Come on, Jerome. Oh, let Jerome stay for company. All right. Stay, Jerome. vegetarian too I think you need some company yourself I have a surprise for you a parrot dear parrot please Jerome may I introduce my parrot please Jenny's allergic to cats 
Well, let's not tell her about the cat. What cat? Good girl, Pericles. Good girl. Naughty, naughty, naughty girl. Aren't you jealous of uh, Stephen's uh, lady associates, secretaries, the women he works with? You seem to have your work cut out for oh, you. Oh, Miranda, hi. I didn't hear you come in. Well, you were obviously concentrating yeah. intensely. It must be a difficult case. Well, the government has changed all the tax codes, and now they're trying to throw the book at my client, claiming fraud and everything else. Could mean millions in additional taxes. I wish you much luck. Well, I'll need it. May I come? I would love to see you in action. <sighs> Well, there's not much action. It's mostly just paperwork. Well, you never can tell. If you win, I'd be there to share it with you. All right. Here's the uh, address. It's the fourth floor of the federal courthouse. Can you get there on your own? Of course I can. When is your son coming home? Uh, the day after tomorrow. Oh, I so look forward to meeting him. By the way, Miranda, Miranda, I didn't hear you leave either. Ooh. It's going bad, isn't it? We're going to lose, aren't we? I'm going to be made bankrupt, aren't I? And I should probably be deported, won't I? Let's hope not. Yeah, just sit down, please. Your adjournment yes. is over. Let's get back to business. Yes, the Internal Revenue Service has been unfair to my That'll client. And I... We've heard enough from your side. Take your seat. Your Honor, I believe the government's case will speak for itself. Now, is the government's documentation in order, Mr. Jessup? Right here, Your Honor. There is a mountain of supply of evidence, enough to convict this felon of 327 counts of federal tax evasion. All right, I object. This is an unfair characterization. The government has asked you to find my client guilty of fraud because he made a mistake on his taxes. He doesn't allow the possibility of an innocent error. Documents seem to be somewhat 
fouled up. Now, this is just another feeble excuse to delay this case. Mr. Jessup, if the government is not... If the court will bear with us for just a few moments. <laughs> but they're all page six. Our computers went crazy, erased our entire case. It printed 25,000 copies of page six. You want them? No, I don't want to get out of here. Our patience is nearly at an end. I'd like to call for a postponement. Denied. Case dismissed. Next case. Congratulations are in order. Boy, when you walked in the door and Jessup's papers blew all over the place. I hope I didn't do anything to disrupt the proceedings. Not at all. <laughs> no, don't go. I'd like to get to know you better. Oh, to help you celebrate your victory. It's always nice to share it with somebody. Are you looking for someone? I, I guess she just didn't show up. She probably got lost. Yeah. Poor old thing. <laughs> well, I hope you aren't too disappointed. Disappointed? Not at all. You'll do just fine. Well, I'm sorry, but I really must be going now. Now, wait a minute. I feel as if I know you. Do I? Oh, I'm sure you'd remember me. Well, aren't you going to tell me your name? I have to go away for a while. Far away, but I'll be back in time. Well, how will I find you? <laughs> oh, you will. you going to give your new grandma a kiss? No way. Well, I had so hoped we'd be buddies. You gotta be kidding. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Is that really her? Yes, your grandfather married her. Do I have to call her grandma? No, but you have to be respectful, all right? Okay. I won't call any bad names, but I won't call her grandma. We'll see, young man. Where's Mom? Oh, she's upstairs. She hasn't been feeling well. Hi, Mikey. Mom, what happened to you? Oh, it's a head cold or an allergy again. You look sort of puffy. Severe psychological problems. I am not imagining things. I can hardly breathe. Where's Grandpa? Watching, oh, watching television. television. I always hated television. Called it a waste of time. Our reception got better. Grandpa! It's me, Grandpa! Uh, skunk. Think the smell. Have an odor. Stink. Oh, hello, Mikey. When did you get back? Just now. Did you get my skateboard fixed? At that time. Did you really marry that lady? Why not? Mom hates her. Be nice. Grandpa, are you okay? Never happier. I'm still on my honeymoon. Well, you go to the supermarket and you pack up a lot of groceries. Mm -hmm. Hey, can I get the game? Get lost, you creep. Here he comes. Hey, here we go. Come on. Like that. I don't know what just happened. That was incredible. So you can talk to her, Wimp. Hey guys, come on, leave her alone. She's facing the sand. Hey, there's a little come girl. Come on, guys. Get out of here, off. kid. Creep. Jerk. Mikey, don't. Mikey, hook it. Mikey.
just did. That was very good, Michael. How come you know my name? I'm a dear friend of your daddy's. I've never won a fight before. Mm. Dad did a lot of boxing in college. He did. He's a great athlete. Before his back went out. We'll see what we can do about his back. Who are you? What's your name, anyhow? Ask your daddy. Oh, and Michael, one last thing. Be nice to your new grandmother. You know about her? I know all about her. Okay. I'll be nice, but I won't call her grandma. <laughs> That's fair enough. Hey! Peggy, who is that? You're my dad's friends. Boy, your dad sure knows how to pick him. Hey. Come with me, Mikey, and I'll show you something. You should see a doctor. I've seen two already. What they tell you to do? Buy sunglasses. Look, I think if you have somebody staying in your house, you have a right to know something about them. Is it worth $50 a day plus expenses? Then you'll take the case? Lady, I have never turned down a job. What if a murderer approached you? Lady, a murderer has never approached me. I get the lost dogs and who's throwing garbage on somebody's lawn. Are you any good? Good enough to find out who this woman is. But I can't promise it'll be damaging. Would it break your heart if it turns out she spent her whole life working for the Red Cross? <laughs> Don't worry, it won't. You have a photograph of her? Oh, I didn't think of that. There aren't any. I'll have to hide in the bushes and take one. That's $40 extra. I could loan you my camera. Mm -hmm. Here's our short form contract and credit application. Uh, where do I sign? Everywhere. Uh, this is an optional insurance agreement in the event there's a lawsuit for invasion of privacy by the person we're investigating that you're covered because I'm not covered. And that's nine dollars a day extra. This is running into money. Uh, excuse me, but I would like that credit card back, please. Oh. <laughs> uh, I may have to show up in some sort of disguise as a salesman or a plumber. I may call you sometime and say, clog up a toilet. There's an excuse for me to enter your house. Well, can you unclog the toilet or will I have to call somebody else in afterwards? Actually, I used to be a plumber, so don't worry. It's included. Well, I hope you're as good a detective as you are a plumber. Actually, I got fired as a plumber. Madame Curie, Gilbert and Sullivan, I got it. Grandpa, wake up. The Hindenburg. Who are you talking to? Norman Vincent Peale. No one's here. The Whiskey Rebellion. Port Huron. Come here, you. Come here, come on. <laughs> You're not mad anymore? Well, <laughs> maybe you can do something to get yourself back into my good graces, huh? I wonder what. <laughs> Take aspirin. There's a cat in here. Look under the bed. You see, I don't see a cat. Not in this room, in this house somewhere. I know there's a cat. My upper lip always starts to itch. And then I start to sneeze like mad. Well, I'll, t I'll call the exterminator in the morning and I'll tell him we have cats. You getting up? Yes. Where are you going? I'm going to find that cat. Let's find the cat. Good night. Oh. Oh. 
You have to jump off the roof and you expect me to go away? I didn't jump off, I fell off. Now shut up. Do you know she's got a cat up there? <laughs> I could have told you that. You didn't hire me to find out about a cat. You knew? I'm a detective. Well, maybe you know that she lights cigarettes by sheer willpower. Hit your head, huh? Help me down, I'm in agonizing pain. <laughs> Ow! I told you I was in agonizing pain! Jeez! Stop following me! Right. Oh, God. Great, now I've locked myself out of my own house! Let me pick the lock for you. It's the least I can do. Oh, my back! Sorry, but she's... Oh, don't apologize. You didn't wake me up. I was reading a sexy novel. Okay, Miranda, don't try any tricks. You can't hide it now. Inspection. I saw it. I saw it in here. You saw what? I looked through the window. Got you there. Jenny needs help. Voyeurism is a, a terrible affliction. There was a cat in here, I can tell it. My upper lip is still itching. I know what you did with it. You threw it out the window. I'm going to search every inch of this room. Who do you suppose that is? Maybe we woke up one of the neighbors. Priscilla. Priscilla who? My daughter, Priscilla. She has come to visit. No. I wrote to her and asked her to come. You are going to love her. Miranda's daughter? I know this is an ungodly hour to show up, but I just hate waiting around airports all night. No, no, that's okay. Come on in. Thank you. The 
airline lost most of my luggage. Oh, they won't look at them. Thank you. I can only stay for a few weeks. There goes the bedroom. Sorry, but I had this allergy. Oh, is that what it is? Where's Mommy? Upstairs. I wonder how she looks. It's been such a long time. Please don't think of me as a ghost. I don't like being waited on. Don't bother with my luggage this evening. I'll take them up in the morning. Good night. It's... No, it just goes to show you that some mothers and daughters can get along. Yeah, they're a perfectly matched pair. You look wonderful. My dear girl, Priscilla. Dad, the hot water pipes are rattling like crazy. I don't know what it is. Could you take a look, please? Later. Wheel of Fortune is coming on. And then I got my Jeopardy, and then uh, Hollywood Squares. You used to be so handy. Is it better part of my left side or my right? On this side, it looks too much like Hitler. Oh, no, not at all. I don't think you can ever look like Hitler. I should know. Dad, don't worry about the uh, hot water pipes. Aren't you missing your TV game shows? Oh, yeah. See you later, darling. Bye, Daddy. Your father is so adorable. <gasps> this room is off balance, and it cries for wallpaper. I could help you select a proper design. I'm a decorator, you see. In fact, I could fix up this place by the time Mommy got back. I wasn't aware she went anywhere. I didn't hear her leave. Oh, she didn't want you to make a fuss about her going. You know, she doesn't like anyone to trouble themselves over her. Anyhow, it's only to San Francisco for a week or so and some money matters. Well, isn't that convenient? You move in and she moves out. Some log reunion. You know, we should start by refurnishing this awful room. Ouch! Ugh. I don't think he's gonna go for it, Mac. What? McIntosh, get over here. What is this? What is this requisition? $750 to enroll in a famous witchcraft school? Are you crazy? Now, look, Captain, you want to catch this old woman, right? Well, I'm telling you, we're after a witch, and you got to fight fire with fire. Look what she did to that poor family. All right, that's it. McIntosh, you're on suspension right now. Hand in your gun and your badge. OK, OK. Maybe I am crazy. But I'm going to find that woman, and I'm going to stop her, badge or no badge. Is that so? Well, McIntosh, you better be careful. She's got more experience of being a witch than you. She might turn you into a frog or a cockroach. Hell, I turned you into a civilian. Captain, this isn't fair. This man has been working 18 hours a day on this case. Man, get out of here. showers.
butcher's work is never done. Where's Nukumoto? Oh, uh, Nukumoto on vacation. Hi. Hey. Hey. Oh. Well, okay, Yamashiro, you do a good job now, huh? Okay, okay. I've never seen... I, I can't... What? Has Johnny seen this? Yeah, well, I guess she thought it was only fair that I should pitch in and help. You know? What? what? How could she just walk out and leave you with this mess? I'm sorry you came home to see this mess, Steve. I really am sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just a guest here. An unwelcome guest. No, damn it. Now, you are not unwelcome. Come on. You've become like a... Like a... Um... A sister. I don't want to be a problem for my big brother. No, just stop the cleaning. Come on. I want to leave everything just exactly the way it is. Oh, Stephen, I don't want to have another fight with Jenny. No, no, no. You know, she drove Mommy away, and now I suppose it's my turn. Is that why Miranda hasn't come back? Is that true? Tell me the truth. Just exactly what did Jenny say to Miranda? <laughs> Don't defend her. She's out riding her bicycle as if she doesn't have a care in the world. I'm going to find her. And I'm going to give her hell! Oh. 
<sighs> Not yet, Miranda. I am having too much fun. Hurry up! keep house, as you can see. Yeah, well, listen, don't be too hard on Jen. You know, she thinks that she's not attracted to you anymore. Well, if only that damn allergy would go away. You have very beautiful legs for a man. Well. Steve! Steve! Honey, I hope the nuka motor didn't... What's happened to my kitchen? What has happened to my kitchen? What do you mean, what's happened to your kitchen? Uh, and where the hell are your pants? Don't change the subject. Let's just concentrate Steve, on this I've mess you've left. I've been up after people all of my life. One gets used to it. One gets used to being a maid. A maid? She hasn't lifted a finger! Well, you're a great one to criticize. What, is this what happens when I go to work every day? Oh, what are you talking about? I don't want to be criticized for the same thing that drove mommy away. You see, Aww. now, some people just don't Boy. realize how sensitive you are. Sensitive? What's wrong with you? Can't you see this is an act? She did this. You okay? And put on your pants. Everything all right? All right. I'm leaving. No. I don't want to be a burden to anyone. I promise you this will never happen again. Is my breakfast ready? I don't think you'll find a clean plate to serve it on. Oh, Sam, go and watch your favorite show, darling, and I'll make you some brunch in a little while. Warm up that beach from last night. It's already body temperature. Under the circumstances, I'm going to have to fire you. Just send me a bill. You mean you're still willing to pay me after what I did to your lawn? Yes, I'm trying not to get mad at anybody. I find when I get mad, things backfire. You know, you're the nicest client I ever had. So forget the bill. This one's on the house. Please, you're fired. No, you can't fire me. All of a sudden, this is a matter of principle. Ah! Leave me alone. Hey. Why don't you help me? I'm a homeless person. I just spent the night in that phone booth. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you take me home? Give me a candlelight supper, huh? Uh, I promise I'll sleep on the couch, right? 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 Here's right? a dollar, okay? Oh, save my life. You don't care! Miranda! Miranda! 
Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were somebody else. I guess a lot of people look like Miranda. studio when they're selecting the contestants. But don't say anything to the family. It'll be our little surprise. Before, I never would have gone on TV. But now, with all this great hair, oh. I'm glad I married you. I got smarter and hairier. Look at me, Sam. Look at me closely. Any question. Any question at all. You have the power to answer any question. You bet I do. Speak to me in Italian. I don't know any Italian. Now you do. Miranda, mia carissima, mia bellissima, la più bella moglie del mondo. Oh, amore mio, io ti faccirai anche. Who the heck is he? <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late. I got a jaywalking ticket. Take care of that, will ya? Expenses. Where's the picture? You told me you took a picture of Priscilla. This is her mother. Is that so? In that case, it's not such a bad picture. Wait a minute. You took a picture of Priscilla and it comes out like Miranda. You know? I've never seen the two of them together. I made a blow up. It's even worse. How could anything be worse than this? Don't you know how to take a picture? Ah, uh, envelope included. Thanks. You're fired again. Fired again? Gee, I feel like Billy Martin here. May I recommend the dead oak tea <coughs> for while you're browsing? Oh, how about some chamomile or an herbal blend. <laughs> Dead oak is the boiled remains of the rotted, petrified hangman's tree. Is there a demand for that? Certainly. We have it flown in from the Scottish moors. Um, could I possibly just purchase a, a cup of hot water? I usually carry my own tea bags. So many people do nowadays. Uh, excuse me, but where is your section on witchcraft? This whole shelf is subdivided into witches, demons, and warlocks. Oh, no, I'm looking for your traditional wicked witch. Oh, them. Well, they're down there. You must know a lot about those things. Well, no one knows everything. Hey, I think I have a picture of a real witch. Do you want to see it?
It was supposed to be her daughter, but it came out like Miranda. You don't take very good pictures. But I do have something I'd like to show you. Can I help you? Of course you can. Uh, this gentleman is going to be on your show today. Oh, no, no. That can't be. The contestants are in the studio already. Hello, information. What office is Cy Goldberg in? Room 334. Take the elevator to the state floor, corridor on the right, fourth door down. 334. How did you know that? I can answer any question. That's right. He can answer any question. So you see, you were wrong. Yes, I am wrong. I've never been so wrong in my life, have I? No. Please, come with me. I'll take you directly to the producer. Thank you. He should have my job. IBC. Cover your tea. Who's who in American Witch Club? Never heard of any of them. Well, witches don't achieve much notoriety, except when they're burned at the stake. And they're usually innocent. But the real witches never get caught. They live forever. Oh, please don't say that. Why can't you people be more on the ball around here? I cannot produce the show under these conditions! Where the hell's my hammer? You left it in the grip truck. What the hell were the readings last night? You had an 18 share, dropped the 14 over the last quarter, you finished third in your time slot. Can't you see that I... Oh, hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Uh, this is Sam Fisher. He'll be a contestant on your program today. As you can see, he can answer any question. Yes. Dump young Morgan Stern in replacing with this gentleman. But, sir, the policy is that... The hell with the policy, you idiot! Do it! I apologize for this imbecile's behavior. Of course, we'll use Sam. Oh, thank you. And I have a wonderful seat down front for you, and you'll be right on camera. Oh, no. I wouldn't want to be on camera. The hot lights don't agree with me. But I'll watch it at home. Sam, you must stay. I'll do good. You'll be wonderful. You go home and watch the show with the children. Oh, would you see to it that he's placed in the limousine after the show? Anything you want. Thank you so much. Well, Sam, who was she? My wife, Miranda. Young wife, you must be quite a man. Don't ask me how old she is. She'll never see 80 again. Remarkably preserved. We have great sex. Where in the hell is the goddamn makeup man again? Where in the hell is the goddamn makeup man? He's upstairs, screwing the production assistant. Let's get this man in makeup. And here. Yes. <laughs> she finds them. She makes them rich. And then they die. What does she want from us? Well, legend has it, she went bust. When the silver market collapsed in 1981, so... So somehow she's going to try to make us rich, and then... When she does that, when you get rich, would you come back and maybe buy something here? I'm going to beat her somehow. Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. You know, there are winners and there are losers, and there are losers who become winners and winners who become losers. We're here to determine which is which, and the way we do that is by spinning our wheel of questions. And the lady who does that is the very beautiful Vanilla. All right, Vanilla, let's meet our two players, shall we? First off, our returning champion, Miss Laura Sue Van Winkle of Ontario, Canada. Here she is. Hi, Laura Sue, and here is your opponent today, 
He is from Hancock Park, Los Angeles. He's a retired carpenter, and his name is Sam Fisher. Come on out, Sam. Hi, Miranda. Let's spin that wheel of questions to find out what our first category will be. It's a mighty good spin, Vanilla. Mighty fine. And it stops on category number four, okay? Go back there and find out what category that means. Number four category is... It's the category of the arts. That's our category, players, and here's your question. Th keep your hands out of the money, please, Vanilla. Thanks very much. This loser died in poverty. I hate poverty. After having sold only one painting in his whole life, while his fellow artist and roommate died in Tahiti of an unmentionable social disease. <laughs> Name both these losers. Van Gogh and Gauguin. Is right. Wow. How about that? $25,000. A good, healthy spin. Whoa, a little foot spin. Number 21. Mikey, why aren't you at That's school? That's the question category. Let's see Who's what dad? Surprise! Hello, YouTube. <laughs> huh? The question is from the category of American history. And keep your hands off the money, dear. Thank you very much. This winner was a Civil War captain. He was later elected to the United States Congress. How did he get on? It was mommy's idea. Who was this winner? Do you know the answer? I don't want to be a hog. <laughs> Sam, do you know it? Rutherford B. Hayes. That's it, Rutherford B. Hayes! <laughs> <laughs> Honey, he's already won $50,000. Now we can get the lawn reseeded. That's not what's going to happen. You don't seem very happy about it. I'm scared. Look, if he's on this show for a couple of more weeks, he can make, like, a couple of million dollars. Three is the category. Let's find out what that is. And that category is... British royalty. Yeah, that's right. Okay, well, let's read the question. Here it is. This winner is Queen Elizabeth of England, but what is her last name? Taylor? Not Taylor, not Taylor. Of England. Queen of England. I don't know what it is. You haven't won anything. I'll give you a hint. We, we, we. Sam, I need an answer. For $150,000, what is it, Sam? Windsor. Windsor is right! <laughs> Congratulations to you. Vanilla, come on. Sam, you can come back next time, face another contestant, and try for a chance at our $2 million jackpot. What are you going to do, Sam? Are you a winner or a loser? I'm a winner. And you bet I'll be back. And don't give any of that money away to anybody because I want it all. Wow, he is a winner. We gotta say so long to you, Laura Sue. Thanks for being here. We have some lovely parting gifts for you backstage. Thank you, Laura Sue. Thank you for joining us. Okay, come on, take it easy now. Take it easy. Take it easy. Come on, take it easy. Just one second. Okay, we'll throw a bucket of cold water on the melon. We'll see you next time. Come on. Whoa. -hoo -hoo. Hello. Hello. 
I, I wish my wife wore clothes like that. There you go again, always thinking about Jenny. You do so much for your family. It's time you did something for yourself. What do you mean? What time does Jenny get back from her therapy session? Well, she she uh, should be back uh, she, uh, any time now. Uh, I think that that the uh, although although she she might get held up. Mm. I mean, not robbed, but I mean just detained. Not 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 by the police. I mean just <laughs> unavoidable. <laughs> yeah. I think it'll be two hours at least. <laughs> I'm pretty sure oh, yeah. two two hours. Oh. Oh. I think my computer is going down. That's my summation to the jury. He's being erased. Yes. It's a whole week's work. But I really don't care. I'm glad. Oh. Oh. Murmuring. But you never answered my first question. <sighs> Priscilla and this old lady Miranda could be the same person, right? Wrong as usual. Why am I always wrong? Not the same person. They simply share a metabolic space because one of them does not have a body of her own. Uh, probably burned at the stake or some such mishap so that they have to take turns, trade off. Oh, you mean like time sharing a condo in Hawaii? I often thought of investing in one of those. Did it work out? No, the other people always wanted to be in the condo the same time as us. It was a constant hassle. Well, imagine sharing a body then. So what does Pericles the cat have to do with this? Oh, the cat is a vessel. Whoever is not using the human form has to have some place to hang out. Inside a cat? Miranda is now inside that cat? <gasps> Why are you taking notes? Why aren't you mixing your brew? Why inside a cat, huh? Come on, why? Can you think of a better place? I love your skin. Well, help yourself. I'm covered with it. <laughs> Long you're not. Uh, <laughs> now, don't make marks, please. Don't make marks. <laughs> okay. Correction. Make marks. Yes. No. Yes, I think that's it. I, I'm feeling so guilty that my my mind is playing tricks on me. No. Um, uh, did you, um, was there like a, a you know, a, I mean, not, no, I mean, no. Oh, somebody else is playing tricks. Does that look like her? That's Miranda. Oh, I can't tell you what a relief it is to know that I'm not crazy after all. So that's the reason you enrolled? 
Look, I am Lieutenant McIntosh of the LAPD. Now, I was working on a case and I got suspended because my chief thought I was crazy when I said we were dealing with a witch. You're nothing but a cheap spy. $750 tuition out of my own pocket is hardly cheap. And it's worth every penny of it if I can nail this Miranda woman. Only thing is, how do I get her out of this cat? Oh, I beg your pardon, but you can't let Miranda out. I want them both in. There's no room. Only one person to a cat. Anybody knows that. Yeah, but suppose Miranda wants out and Priscilla doesn't want to leave her body. Roommate trouble? Now you're talking. Just tell me some spells I can use against them. Don't rush things. This usually takes years and plenty of tuition. We haven't got years. Look, my whole family is at stake here. I'm going to lose everything. You've got to teach me some, some rituals or incantations. Sorry. Listen, sister, do you have a license to run this school? Okay. Okay. But remember, you were fooling around with this at your own risk. I think this stepmother of yours is the same person who's done away with at least a half a dozen people and shrunk a few more. Oh, my God. Now, you go home and act as if nothing happened. Keep cool and prepare. And when we're ready, we'll take action together. Together? Oh, I'm so happy that I'm not in this by myself. Thank you, Lieutenant. Yeah. Oh, and one last thing. If she tries to put you in a shoebox, run like hell. I just wish my cab would come. To tell you the truth, I have always wanted to get out from under this family. I suppose you're going to hire a lawyer and sue poor Steve. I feel sorry for Steve. Don't feel sorry for him. He's going to be very rich soon. In fact, he'll have more than enough to give you a generous settlement. So you see, in the end, it will all work out for the best. You don't have to convince me. I'm not the one that's jealous anymore. It's Miranda. I don't think Miranda will be coming back. Miranda, you're beautiful. I know. I'm so glad I married you. I'll be right up, Sam. He's so cute. I don't think I'll turn him into an insect for at least six months. Bit Steve. You bit the gardener. Why don't you bite Priscilla? Yes. This is Dr. Simpson of the Willow Springs Veterinary Hospital. Uh, who did you say this was? The vet with the heart. We were wondering if it would be all right for us to come over and pick up your cat now. My cat? What do you mean? Pericles, the old cat in question, I believe. Who did you say made arrangements for this? Uh, this is Mrs. Miranda Pierpoint. You sure sound good on the phone for a woman your age. And what was it I wanted done with Pericles? Uh, you wanted to have her fixed. Fixed? Uh, me fixed? I mean, Pericles fixed? Okay, I've got the address. We'll be right over and pick her up and don't worry. We'll be gentle. Don't you dare come over here. I've changed my mind. Well, I did that right. So, Miranda, I let you out for one evening and you make arrangements to have me fixed. We'll see who gets fixed. Bibby, where are you? Why would Steve want you when he can have me? Hello? Hello? 
Anybody call for a cab? Don't do that. Oh, I'm glad you're here, Lieutenant. I think it's working, but we're going to need a plasterer afterwards. You're also going to need a gardener and a tree surgeon. You got your cauldron boiling and all of your incense and your away powder? Yeah, I just hope the spell is strong enough. Yeah. Well, I got my partner to pick up a warrant for the arrest of Miranda Pierpont. Now, all you have to do is put her where I can get my hands on her. I was right. Hmm? She's in the cat. I told you, I can't arrest a cat. Well, can't you get a warrant to search the cat? You gotta be kidding. Now, come on, get in there and do your thing, huh? Well, I hope I just remember what it... Uh... Uh, wait a minute. Is this it? Spell of spell. You got it. You got it. That's it. It's not the right key, but you got it. Allergic. I have cured you. See, look, touch her, touch her. Take care, please. Come on, yes, yes. She's all yours. Now get her out of here. Come on. What are you waiting for? Come on, take her with you. You mean she's she's mine now to do with as I like? All right, Miranda. I'll deal with you later. Showdown. Shit! This is the major lawsuit. What are you doing here? Waiting for a lady or two, maybe even a cat. What's it your business? I live here! Away! Away! Spell. Free this house of evil spirits. Purify this dwelling. <laughs> Do that over again, please! Oh no, I want my piano back! Oh, my God. 
want, huh? You know, I think that thing cured my whiplash. My house! What's all this big racket all about? Did you remember to take out earthquake insurance? Oh, Daddy, Daddy, I don't know what to do. I have a second-rate sorceress. Well, stop trying! <laughs> What do you really do to defeat a witch? I can answer that. No, you can't! Naturally, I can answer any question. Remember, Priscilla, you fixed it that way. If you tell her, you won't be able to win any more of your TV prize money. I won enough. I'm not going back. And you lose all of your hair! I can afford a nice toupee, but... Miracle! Miracle! It's all your fault! Listen to All you have to do is repeat after me. It's in Babylonian. Aish kebab. Aish kedud. It was your idea to come here and have them do all of this. I wanted to go to Palm Springs! Aish kebab. Aish kedoodle. Aish kebab. Aish kedoodle doodle. Good. Oh, move over, Miranda! I'm coming in! Well, what does it mean? Roughly, sticks and stones will break my bones. The rest is dirty. I never talked dirty in Babylonian before. Me, ladies. Heavy for a cat. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent or. What the hell with it, Sumi? Goodbye, Grandma. I'd better find my toolkit and begin to fix the place up. Good thing I'm handy again. Works. Oh. oh, Daddy. Bye bye, girls. Oh, my God, what's happening? Oh, oh. ladies, it's not going to do you any good. You're resisting arrest, you know that, don't you? You just don't go around. Shrinking police officers in this town. Well, can't we discuss this? Can't we plea bargain? Huh? What's the matter? You never saw a compact before? Uh, 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 hey! Hey! Lady! Oh, this is a dream. It's gotta be a dream. Does this mean there's gonna be a sequel? Introduce our cast of players. Evelyn Keys, Seymour Cassell, Laureen Lennon, Richard Maul, Tom Bosley, Sean Donahue, David Rashi, Lionel Stanton. Colleen Camp, Barbara Carrera, Betty Davis. Call me Mom. 